Happy Friday. Today is Friday, November 11th, 2022, and today's daily Bible readings come to us from Isaiah 12, Isaiah 59, 1 through 15, 2 Thessalonians 1, 3 through 12, and then Psalm 98, 2 Samuel 21, 1 through 14, uh, and then 2 Thessalonians again. I'm going to take a look at Isaiah, and now which one, you might ask? Well, Isaiah 12, thank you for asking. Um <clears throat> Because, I'm going to go ahead and ask you early, because the question is coming, whether you want it to or not, what are you thankful for? That's so, like, it, we have not very much longer, less than two weeks. At this point, and people will be getting together for Thanksgiving, you'll gather around a table of family and friends, and inevitably the question comes up, so what are you thankful for? Um... You know, it's just the question people like to ask around the table on Thanksgiving, which unfortunately maybe we should kind of ask ourselves that question more often. Maybe we might be a little bit less miserable, but it's just uh, we like to ask that. Maybe it's because we like we you know like ways to put people on the spot. But you know, it's weird because you never know what to say. It's kind of an awkward, you know, place. It's one thing if somebody just asks you that, you know, in passing, you're having coffee with them or. Well, like everybody's sitting around the table looking at everybody else, um, you know, you never know what to say. And then it goes around the table and then, you you know, you're thinking up, you know, things to say, like, you know, frantic madness. And then somebody else takes the thing you were going to say and you're like, well, now I can't say family. Um, so what are you going to say? You've got to think up something that sounds super thankful. Isaiah's got you covered. He's got a cheat sheet for you. Uh, so... If this is you, if I've just described your panic and if I've just triggered a whole bunch of anxiety in you, I apologize. Um, but if this is you, here you've got an option provided by your friend Isaiah. So if you don't know what to say, take this section, Isaiah 12, and memorize it, right? Memorize the six verses in Isaiah 12, this little tiny psalm about giving thanks. Um, so just give it a listen, and then, you know, you can decide if you want to look it up in your Bible and memorize it. And this is the New Revised Standard Version. Isaiah 12, you will say in that day, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, for though you were angry with, uh, with me, your anger turned away and you comforted me. Surely God in my, is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid, for the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And you will say in that day, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O royal Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. So think about it. You memorize that. You get to Thanksgiving dinner and people are going around the table saying the, you know, the usual answers they always give. And then they get to you and you just bust out that psalm, right? You just say Isaiah 12 and then you just recite it, right? Um, just imagine how impressed everyone will be. But imagine this. Imagine something even better. This, I mean, this is crazy. Now just, just hold on, right? Imagine that you memorized this psalm, and then it became a part of you, right? Uh, so that you memorized it so much that you began to, like it says, draw water from the well of salvation with joy. Man, then you'd really have something to be thankful for. Anyway, that's the DBR. Get out, enjoy the day. We'll see you Monday.